How is it going, everybody? You're watching the Nabal Tech, and today I'm going to talk about iOS 14.7, Apple's latest software update for the iPhone that was just released. So I decided to use it to test it out for at least 24 hours so I can have my impressions and then, of course, share with you. But not only that, of course, I'm also going to talk about everything that's new and everything that you need to know, especially when you're talking about battery in performance because right there on those two little things that's where you have the biggest most important changes but of course we have some bug fixes uh security improvements and i'm going to talk about those as well so first i want to talk about battery battery problems so a lot of iphone users were having huge battery problems in ios 14.5 especially in 14.5 and then apple tried to correct it in 14.6 but not really still a lot of iphone users were having problems with battery drain uh iphones were just lasting like two hours of screen on time that's just too little that's unacceptable and other iphone users including myself just uh, we could definitely tell that the performance wasn't there uh, battery life was just much worse in iOS 14.5 than it was before it, and especially if you compare it to iOS 13. So iOS 14.7 definitely fixed that for good. So if you're having problems with battery drain, they're fixed, at least uh, on my testings and on everything I've read online, I couldn't see anyone still with problems regarding battery problems as a whole. And for most users, there was an overall improvement. So even if you weren't having battery drain issues, you should get a few more minutes of battery life on every single charge. I could definitely tell on some testings on my iPhone 12 Pro Max that I could get something like 25 to 30 minutes per charge, which is a pretty big deal, especially if you consider it's just a point something update it's not a major update as we call it if you have already updated or if you're going to update right now please make sure to wait sometimes this is not instant on the first cycle sometimes you have to wait one or two cycles a couple days uh, before this battery improvement thing works okay so just be patient if you don't feel it right away the second biggest improvement in ios 14.7 is performance but wait I'm talking about performance for older devices. So for my iPhone 8, for example, this guy right here, I could definitely tell a difference. And like the older the iPhone, the bigger the difference. So uh, iPhone 7, iPhone 6S, iPhone SE, first generation, you'll definitely tell that the performance will improve. Like I've mentioned before, and I've mentioned this in on previous videos, uh, if you have a really old device, like uh, one of the oldest or the oldest to be compatible with an update, you sh just shouldn't update. So let's use an example, uh, let's use iOS 14. So if you own an iPhone 6S or an iPhone 7 or an iPhone uh, SE first generation, and then you wanna update to iOS 14 or to the newest iOS 15, which is still in beta, you shouldn't. At least in my opinion, you shouldn't because those devices will struggle if you update them. Older devices on the compatibility list, the devices that are right there at the bottom, they'll always struggle. But Apple is always thinking about their users. So even though older devices will struggle, um, they'll make sure uh, to still make them run. And iOS 14.7 was really important for that. So if you have an iPhone 6S, 7, uh, an iPhone, even an iPhone 8 or 10, you'll definitely tell the difference in iOS 14.7. It'll get smoother, faster, much better as a whole. If you have a newer device, like I said before, an iPhone 12, uh, 11 Pro, 12 Pro, uh, it's very hard to tell the difference. It will not get worse, of course, but it will not get much better. I personally couldn't tell any difference at all in the performance department for newer devices. Now let's talk about the new features and changes that iOS 14.7 implemented. The first one, and that's the most important for sure, is a modem update. If we are not sure which is an iPhone modem, it's just a little chip that's responsible for the connectivity to connect you to the internet with 4G, 5G, and uh, that little modem update is very good because of connectivity. First, some people are actually having problems with connectivity, so this is like a bug fix, but for others, for most of us that weren't having any problems, this will make connectivity better 
on the iPhone. So some connectivity issues, dropping signal, uh, not connecting, things like that. This will get much better. So this is an, even though it's an update inside an update, this is kind of like a new feature and change because this will be much better for us. Uh, we have a, hu a huge list of everything that's new, of all the new features, and I'm gonna go through them one by one very quick with you because I'm sure most of them are not so interesting. Actually, none of them are actually that interesting, but I'm gonna go through them with you very quickly. Let's go. iOS 14.7 introduced compatibility with MagSafe battery pack. So that's actually a new product. Apple just released it last week, which is essentially a power bank that will connect to the back of your iPhone using MagSafe. Uh, I'm not sure if you've seen this product, but it's very interesting. And iOS 14.7 is required, an update is required because the MagSafe battery pack actually uses reverse wireless charging, so it needs this update to enable this feature. And let's see if we can use it for other products like AirPods or even charging one iPhone, touching the back of the other, like Samsung does for ears. Let's see. We also have news for the Apple Card. Now we have this family thing where you can actually add new members to your account. You can even combine your credit limits and other things. So if you use the Apple Card, it will be much easier, much more complete and much better to actually manage, especially with family members. The home app was also updated and now you can manage and create timers for your HomePod, so very cool if you are a HomePod owner. Air quality information is finally available in more locations. So now uh, in the weather app, you have uh, air quality information for Canada, France, Italy, Netherlands, South Korea, and Spain. So many more cities throughout the world. And I'm sure when iOS 15 comes out, we'll have even more countries and more cities. Now the podcast app will give you the ability to see all your shows or only your followed ones. So a little view change option. Interesting if you use the podcast app. Now let's talk about bug fixes and security. So those changes under the hood, they're actually very, very important. First one is regarding iPhone 11, only the iPhone 11 lineup, especially because of that uh, recalibration thing. I'm sure you remember from iOS 14.5. So uh, if after the recalibration process, your iPhone detected that your battery needed a replacement, it would give you a warning saying that you should replace your battery because uh, it's not performing in peak capacity and everything like that. And before iOS 14.7, there was a little problem that after you reboot, that warning would just would go away. Now in iOS 14.7, it will come back and it will stay there until you actually replace your battery, which is interesting and important because most people don't know exactly when to change their battery and when they see the warning, they realize that it's actually time. On top of that, we have a big bug fix as well for Wi-Fi. I actually almost made a video about it, but then I decided not to. So I'm pretty sure you've seen this. This was all over the news. So if you actually connected your iPhone to a network that had a name, uh, that had actually any specific name, uh, and I'll put, I'll, I'll not put it because I don't think it's the right thing to do, but it was full of uh, percentage numbers and things like that. Some names were actually bugging and like breaking some iPhones before iOS 14.7. And now this bug is fixed. And this was a really huge headache because if you connected your iPhone to a network with that name, with that SSID, uh, your iPhone would just be, have their Wi-Fi disabled completely and then would have to reset your iPhone. So, so annoying. And now with this, this is also 100% fixed. And we also had some bug fixes in the Apple Music app and also in the Mail app, especially uh, with the Braille accessibility information. There was a problem there. Now it's fixed. So then that's pretty much it regarding what's new, regarding uh, changes, bug fixes, battery changes, performance, everything that I wanted to give you in this video. So now there are only two other things to say. One, if I think there will be other updates, if I think iOS 14 will keep continue getting updates, even though iOS 15 is just around the corner in just a couple months, and uh, I'm, I'm definitely sure it will, I'm pretty sure we won't see other point 
updates so i'm sure we're not gonna get uh, ios 14.8 just because that requires beta testing and things like that but i'm sure we'll get 14.7.1 14.7.2 until we actually get ios 15 un unless we get a huge delay or something and then we're required apple is required to go with ios 14.8 just to buy some more time but i'm pretty sure i will go up to 14.7.2 uh, that would be my guess if i needed to guess and then last but not least my opinion if you should update and i'm pretty sure that's clear if you watch the video and of course you should you definitely should if you are already in ios 14 if for some reason you are in iOS 13, especially if you had if you have older devices, as I said before, if you have an iPhone 6s or 7 or 8 and you're sticking with iOS 13 all this time, I would recommend you to stay there because updating to iOS 14 may make your iPhone a bit slower. But if you're already in iOS 14, any version, no matter what version you are, I do recommend you to update to iOS 14.7 it's the best version of iOS 14 for sure, all right? So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to hit the like button down below, subscribe button, bell icon, hit the comment box, everything you know, everything you can do to help me out and make the channel grow more and more and reach more and more people. If you can, I would be so extremely grateful, all right? So that's pretty much it. And I'll see you in my next video as usual. Bye-bye.